Well, good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Today you have the Rhino. We have our crawlers. We have my hair. Almost long enough for the ponytail now. Almost. Um, we got to drink a beer, shouldn't we? Well, we should drink a beer. I have what? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine beers on the table. I'm going to drink four of them. Ah, uh, what should we do? What should we do? What should we do? Let's do this one. So this was just delivered to me today. Um, I don't know what order these beers are going to go up on. As you guys know, we uh, never really pay much attention to what order we put stuff up on. But uh, recently I had bought a... Sorry, my cup was just out of reach. Recently I bought a mixed six pack from Collective Arts. It had two Gozas, two Hefts, and two Papaya Saisons in it. And the one I had had uh, four Gozas and two Papaya Saisons. So uh, Erica was kind enough to drop off the Hefts for me. So here we are, the Heft. Um, now she was like, you know, we talked about it in our sales meeting and it was probably just human error. I'm like, no, I was never trying to say you guys you guys screwed up. I mean, for all I know, it happened at the LCBO. Somebody opened it up and changed it. I just thought it was funny. I, I bought them excited that I had three new beers to review, and then I get home and I only have two. And there was only two of the friggin' mixed packs at the LCBO when I bought mine, so it wasn't like I could even return it, because by the time I got back, it was gone. Um, but yeah, this is 5.5% alcohol by volume, so this is Collective Projects Hefeweizen. Do we have anything on here? Ingredients, water, barley malt, wheat malt, hops, and yeast. So yeah, we're uh, we're looking at a half. We're looking at a half. I expect it basically to be nothing but uh, easy drinking. And if that's what I get, I'm extremely happy. There was a nice kiss by it. There is some smoke still coming out of the neck. Now this glass, I really like it as a tasting glass. I like it as a glass if you have a whole bunch of uh, buddies around and you're only trying to get like three or four ounces because you fill it up to here and you basically have your like three and a half, four ounces and then it comes in so it actually does the nozzle, nostril part properly. But right there, deep golden color, bright white head, lots of head, lots of snap crackle pop, that head is going to fade. But visually, it is very appealing. Uh, this glass always makes so much head, too. It's meant to be big enough to hold a whole bottle, but I'm never able to get a whole bottle in because it just, it, it's almost as if it is, uh, it's etched at the bottom because no matter how slow you pour, you get a shit ton of, uh, man, that's a loud washer tonight. Smell. Oh, that smells, that smells horrible and awesome at the same time. Now, it smells horrible only because it reminds me of when I was sick as a child because there is a big, like, candied banana smell in there, which is reminding me of amoxicillin. And I used to get uh, a whole plethora of penicillin family stuff, including amoxicillin, until, uh, until the doctors realized I was actually allergic to penicillin and then they stopped giving it to me. So I think... Uh, that works me up a little bit thinking about that and uh, thinking about all the different illnesses I had and uh, how much more violently ill I'd get every time I had my medication. Other than that though, there's just a uh, almost like shredded wheat scent. So I'm basically picking up nothing but the wheat and the, and the yeast. And I'm okay with that, in all honesty. I mean, it's a half. It should be pretty clean. Let's try it. Cheers. Hmm. Okay. Is it a very complex, intriguing beer? No. Is it a very refreshing, very easy drinking half like it should be? Fucking right it is. 
So, basically, it's it's cream of wheat with banana, and that's it. Uh, I I actually quite enjoy it. It is reminding me of a quintessential hef. It's reminding me of a lot of uh, German import, well, German export hefs that we get here, like Erdinger and and stuff like that. Sorry, uh, the beard's just out of control today. So is the hair. Everything's out of control today. I met Mary Beth and Erica at the door with my hair everywhere. And Not that they actually care what I look like because I'm nothing to them but a fat albino guy. But I, I still, I like to have some control in all of this. Yeah. Like cream of wheat and banana. And then once the banana fades... You're left with just this uh, grainy, neutral taste in the back of your throat. Quite refreshing, quite Moorish, quite good. You make it cold instead of uh, basement temperature. Well, actually, this one's actually room temperature because it sat on my floor upstairs until I came downstairs with it. She dropped it off and we had to leave right away, so I just dropped it off on the floor and ran downstairs. So this is even warmer than what I normally like my beer at, and in all honesty, I quite enjoy it. Excuse me. Excuse me. Just moving all these bottle caps over. Saving my bottle caps for an art project I'm doing and for uh, something Simon wants. The puncher's going to take a bunch of my bottle caps too, the ones I don't need. So out of 10 on this beer. Easily worth an 8. This is the best beer in the package. And so the half from Collective Arts. 8 out of 10 from the Rhino. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you guys for making this beer. Thank you Erica for um, making sure I actually ended up getting it. And gotta pull you guys closer to say my goodbyes. Bye bye.